Well, there it is. Hello, welcome to another Warcraft Free Reforged video. This time looking at Chen Stormstout and the Pandaren Brewmaster, their models, their animations, just the polish that we have. So I'm going to read out a little bit of background info on those pandas. Hailing from the secretive Pandaren Empire, the mighty brewmasters travel the world in search of exotic ales and the finest brewed spirits. These affable warriors rarely seek out danger or trouble, preferring instead to spend their time concocting new and tasty beverages for any brave enough to imbibe them. However, if attacked, the laughing brewmasters bring all of their pandar and agility and ferocity to bear. They are peerless warriors, world class drinkers in one. I was going Scottish towards the end there. I don't know what that was. I was trying not to be like too on the nose with the accent because otherwise I'm going to be like quite offensive. But then I didn't know where it was going. I started to detect a bit of my pirate Santa from like the first couple of sentences and then it went like really heavy into sort of Scottish. Okay, so in this article, this Wowhead article, thank you Wowhead, we will highlight the new models for Pandaren and Brewmaster and Chen Stormstout in Warcraft 3 Reforge. The Pandaren were introduced to the Warcraft universe in Warcraft 3 with Chen Stormstout being part of the Frozen Throne Orc campaign. The founding of Durotar, another Pandaren addition in the game, was a neutral hero Pandaren Brewmaster. All right, let's take a look. Also, I really like this music. One moment. Why do we fight? To protect home and family. To preserve balance and bring harmony. To protect home and For family. my kind, the true question is... You're not just going to leave me hanging, are you? Oh no, we got a buffer. Oh no. <laughs> what is worth fighting for? What? All right, I might give that some time to buffer or something, and I'll take a look at the models, and then we'll come back to the video. <laughs> what on earth is going on there? All right, so let's take a look. Chen Storm Stout. It's your boy. Everyone loves the fluffier, more happy-go-lucky version of Chen, where he's actually wearing his hat instead of having it on the back. At first, I thought it was a shield, but it's not. It's his hat. I love the little belly fur, though. The model itself just looks really good. Like, if you're going to have Chen looking angry without a hat, this is as good as it gets, to be quite frank with you. But obviously, people want that hat, and they want that sort of more fluffy-looking Chen instead of this very serious, angry one. But perhaps he has emotes that make him look more cheery when he talks. This is just like, he might have just resting bitch face. Honestly. That might just be what it is. Lovely details, though. Like, everything about it is just gorgeous. The hat's had a bit of a beating, though. But who knows? It looks slightly different to the one that I'm familiar with, but then again, it would do, because all these models are completely updated. Now we move on. Oh, wow. Look at the power in his eyes. He looks almost possessed in a way. Very strong. Very determined. I like this guy. I prefer the other two models um, as to how they look. But that's nothing to like say bad about this model. Because this looks really cool for like a Storm Pandaren. So it holds up by, the, by its own. It's just the other two models, for me personally, look cooler. But then again, Storm's always going to look a bit more nerdy compared to the other two. So, wow. I mean, this one just... Woo! Look at the hat! There we go. I mean, that weapon, like, the arc... Just the design, the just everything about this. The giant rope pouring off. He looks so powerful. And I love this weapon. It feels so sort of real. Just super nice. Super cool. And he's, like, chewing some sort of, like, cud. So, that's really cool. Very powerful dude. And then the fire one looks pretty damn amazing. So, this is Chen, by the way, I believe. What Chen looks like when he breaks into these forms. Bearing in mind that the Pandaren Brewmaster will have its own version. Slightly different. Which means 
that we are going to get essentially different iterations of the same character. Because in Warcraft 3, if you go to the tavern and you purchase the Pandaren Brewmaster, it's basically Chen Stormstail. Whereas in this, as we've seen with previous models like the Archmage, one looks like Deckard Kane and one looks a bit more like Antonidas, but still not quite sold on him, looking completely like Antonidas. So you got the same deal here. So this is just the tavern, dude. So if you went to the tavern, this is the Pandaren Brewmaster you would get. And he's got his own cool look. Man, we're going to really benefit when it comes to custom games, honestly. Like, there are so many models. I can't wait to play all the hero defenses and hero survivals. Just utilizing so many models. Like, we're going to be spoiled for choice, honestly. It's crazy. Pandaren. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's got more of a Raiden vibe going on. Yikes. That's kind of cool, though. So you can see, it's like the same sort of idea. It's just a different flair of it. So let's see the brew mast on Earth. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love those green beads. And the uh, bottom armor plating is very similar, but not identical. He's got more silver here. I think he's got less sort of um, pauldron parts. If that's the correct term. Probably not. The rope is very similar, though. So there are definitely similarities. But, again, they just got their own sort of style. So it's really cool. This one definitely looks quite a bit more different to the other. Fire, dude. You can see sort of like more emphasis on his fur. And a sheer ferocity within his face. So let's have a look at the weapons. I'll come back to those in a moment. I'll look at Panda, um, Chen Stormstout's weapons but they've got these curves at the end as well there's so much detail to this stuff it's kind of crazy so let's take a look at that and then come back up yeah they are different so that's just so cool because you just get a different weapon if you like one or the other then boom there you go you can play around with it Right, hopefully this video plays a little bit. It hasn't buffered much, to be fair. Could be because I'm streaming. So we'll see how we go. Whoa, might be a bit loud, sorry. Sorry, I apologize. I didn't realize just how loud it was going to be. So the first part of this video might have been, like, deafening. Or you might have not heard me. It's smooth. It's very smooth, the animations. Just the breathing, the standing, the running. Oh, I wish this video would buffer a bit quicker. Say what you like about Mr. Pandaria. I actually really like the cinematic for it. I got a guilty pleasure. Which is kind of beneficial because they did essentially take a lot of emphasis from that. If I remember correctly from the previous BlizzCon. I have had my concerns with these models and I still do to this day. But I have lightened up a little bit. I've had a whole year to digest this. When I first found out I was like, do they really fit into the the template, the, the terrain? But not everything's built and finished so it's hard to sort of be so cruel. Really my biggest issue was like there's no shadows so it didn't really feel like the models were planted on the ground whereas the original Warcraft 3 is very built in, very obvious what is going on. So are we going to lose that real quality of gameplay for essentially our increase in graphics which unfortunately a lot of video games love to go down that road. Let's just have some nice shiny graphics because it sells but the gameplay sucks. That's, this is always my concern. I take gameplay over graphics any day of the week. But I've got to say, these models do look incredible. These are warrior monks, aren't they? They're very powerful. Very powerfully built. Like, he's tubby, but he's still... Like, he's more like an original kind of ogre. That's taunt. Slap that belly. It starts to get a bit more jittery now, because I'm getting close to the point where I haven't... I might have to knock it down or something. It goes all the way up to 4K here. I'm only streaming on 1920x1080, so you shouldn't really see anything better. But I don't know exactly how that works. I'm not technically minded. Ah, uh, That looks like Pulverize. Or just an attack. See, I get the fire, dude. He's super serious. But I, I would like to see a little sort of glint in the eye. A little cheeky smile or something. Like, Chen is a little bit in the cinematic, right? He's serious, but at the same time, there's moments in the fights where he almost got like a little bit of a 
Like, I know what's going on here. I can handle this situation. So I'll give it a bit more charisma. Okay, let's move on. Nice. That's getting ready for a fight, that is. That's like a spell cast, typically. But the fire dude doesn't have any spell cast as far as I'm aware. So if you did... Maybe they've just included that. Like, that's the idea. If you wanted to use this model and have him cast Chain Lightning because you edited it in the feature to do that, that's probably the animation he would cast. Yep. He's got that pose. He's about to attack it. It goes like that. There you go. That's really neat. So uh, They're keeping the similar resemblances back. Very good. I really like those. Just great work, to be honest. Obviously, if we could just have another version of Chen, maybe, where he's like really happy and smiley all the time and wearing a hat, that'd be perfect. But other than that, really good. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Make sure to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this content. There's more Warcraft Free Reforge coming to the channel. Take care. All the best. Bye-bye.